It's morning in the mountains on Mountain Fun Life. Hi, Frank Murphy here. Get to talk about one of my favorite subjects, and that is talking. Talking about talking. <laughs> Shelly Stephen joins us. Welcome, Shelly. Happy to have you. Hello. Thank you. Glad to be here. A voiceover talent, so you get paid to talk. I do. And you get paid to say, I mean, amazing things for documentaries and other projects. So, first of all, uh, welcome to Tennessee. You've only moved to Tennessee recently. In the beginning of August, yes. From? From Michigan. You're not alone. You know, I know a lot of Michiganders to the point where uh, I've only been to Michigan once or twice, I think, and you know, I know to hold up your hand and they point yes. to your hand. They this tell is you what we all do. Where yes. they're from. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I grew up here. I ended up moving down here. And, you know. Oh, nice. Yeah. All right. So you understand what I'm talking about. Exactly. And I notice also you get a lot of Northerners who discover the beauty of Tennessee. Correct. And want to live here. Yes. So that's what happened uh, to you. Well, although my grandparents were from here. Really? Okay. So I basically every year of my life I was down here for at least a week. All right. And my favorite thing in my my grandmother when my parent my grandparents retired from GM in Michigan and moved yeah. back out her yard, you could see mountains in the distance everywhere. Oh, beautiful. And I wanted that. Yeah. So, so now you've got it. So now I've got it because that was the first thing on my list for the house, a view. And <laughs> with your career as a voiceover artist, really you physically can be anywhere in the world. Correct. Because uh, so I'm, I'm assuming that someone would send you a script and you read it and you mail it back to them. Exactly. Or email it back to them. Exactly. All right, so how did you get started as a voiceover artist? Uh, I wanted to do it since I was a little kid. Everybody, when I was a kid, wanted to be the DJ. I wanted to be the one doing the public service announcements. <laughs> Don't ask me. Well, um, some people wanted to be cartoon characters, too. No, that's not me. That's that's okay. not my kind of voiceover. But yeah. um, I ended up not doing that because at the time I got out of high school, it was, you go to college. Right. You go to college. So I worked for Ford for 30 years. Mm -hmm. My last few years at Ford, I was actually in the training and development part and I was developing training for dealers and oh, so started voicing them. There you go. And everybody started asking me, can you do mine? Because you sound way better than I do, so. So you're talking about like the professional voicemail uh, no, I'm systems? No, e-learning. Or e-learning, okay. Yes. I mean, but there's so many applications there's so many applications. what you but can do. Yes. E-learning oh. specifically. I know this. This is like where you have to uh, vote, like, or not vote, but answer the quiz. Of which one is the most offensive? Yes. <laughs> and then which one next to continue? Which is harassment, this one or this one? Yeah, that's, <laughs> yes, exactly. And there's even parts to that because there's just the reading the text, there's doing the characters for it. Yeah. So there's, there's different, so there's a little bit of character work in there, but I'm not a character like animation, although I have tried out for it to be an evil tree occasionally. An evil tree. An evil tree, That yes. sounds fun. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so some of your favorite projects then, I mean, I'm, I'm, I could just run down the multiple choice list of saying, well, what about books, what about this, what about that? But they give me more specific examples without naming the client, but of, you said, public service type uh, training videos. Right, right. Um, training video, well, corporate narration is mostly what I do. Yeah. So it's e-learning, it's doing uh, voices for videos or presentations, mm -hmm. uh, doing live events, live event announcing. Oh yeah? Yeah, so I've done a couple parades, I've done emceed some uh, things where they had comedians and different things come in. Yeah. Um, so well, how do we thing? find, I mean you found us, which is awesome, you and Jim Johnson were at yes. a networking meeting mm -hmm. and, uh, and Jim and got you hooked up to come in for the interview, but let's just say for example, I'm watching this interview and I'm like, mm -hmm. and I need a Shelly Steven in my life, how do I find you? You can go to my website. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 but I mean, or how do or let me back it up a step? How do I, as Joe Business, know that I need you, and then how do I find you? Ah, well, it depends on it depends on your needs. I mean, a, a small business might just need somebody to do their voicemail system. Okay. So maybe they don't feel comfortable talking on it. Maybe they don't think they sound good. Maybe right. they're from some place that they don't want an accent on their voicemail. Sure. Whatever. So I can do that, give them a recording, load it onto their machine. Yeah, yeah. There's also it also makes your company sound bigger when yes. instead of instead of you going on saying, Hey, thanks for calling the tire shop. If you want to talk to me, press one, you could have Shelly say, Thank you for calling the tire shop. If you'd like to speak to the manager, press one. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so there's that. There's doing um, uh, the voice behind videos on their people's websites. Because a lot of times they put music to them, but they don't think people are actually oh, listening. Yeah, right. Why not use that space to talk about your business? Exactly, yeah. You know, so there's that. There's the traditional commercials. Mm -hmm. um, there's explainer videos explaining how to do something or talking so about your business. Do our, does Joe Business contact you 
directly or do you go through an agency? How do they can contact me directly? Okay. I mean, they can go through an agency, but they can also contact but me ultimately, directly. you know, like, you know, if I run the tire shop, I know how to fix tires, but I may not be expert at adding a soundtrack to my YouTube video. Correct. It's not that hard, really. I mean, you could figure it out. If you can fix a flat tire, you can fix a YouTube video. But A lot of times people will hire a videographer to do the, the video. Okay. And they don't realize that they can also hire a voice talent to, to work with the video person. Nice. I see. Yes. All right. Well, fun. Fun times. I'm interested in this, obviously, for my, you know. Oh, uh, yeah. I've done a little bit of what you're talking about myself, so it's fascinating to me. Mm-hmm. Excellent. Yes. Well, Shelly, Stephen, that's really fun to talk with you. So give us one of your, maybe you want to get us out of the segment. You want to say something like, uh, you're watching Morning in the Mountains on Mountain Fun Life with Frank sure. Murphy and Shelly Stephen. Maybe right. you want to get us out of the segment? Uh, if I can remember all and that. Well, just make it up. <laughs> <laughs> you're watching Mountain Fun Life with Frank Murphy. And thank you for watching today. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs>